Right, so we're about to do a left varicocele embolisation on this gentleman who's got pain on the left side and he's got a proven varicocele on ultrasound and we're going to use a right jugular approach because this is very much a straight line down to the left gonadal vein. And a bit of a sting, okay? I'm just going to inject this nice and slowly. So I don't believe in raising a big bleb because that's very painful, so we're just doing it nice and slowly and getting the anaesthetic to infiltrate slowly. And now we're just gonna go a little bit deeper down towards the jugular vein. You okay there? Yeah. Shouldn't really feel much. You might, might be a little bit nippy. And you can see it's right down to the vein there on the ultrasound machine. There you go, okay. Right, so have the wire and the sheath ready, please. So a little bit of pushing, shouldn't be anything particularly sore, okay? So you can see that's through into the jugular vein. So I'm just going to pass this guide wire down. Just take a breath in for me now, please. So that straightens out the IVC, often allows us to pass the wire down. Okay, we'll, go, we'll put the sheath in now. Okay, so a bit of pulling and pushing. So if you take that off. So we're just gonna pop a five French sheath on that. Okay. So a bit of pushing in the neck now. That can come off. And let's have the multi-purpose catheter on, please. I'm just going to put my lead screen in. So this is a standard multi-purpose catheter, which has a very useful angle just for getting into the left renal vein and then the left gonadal vein. So we're just going to use a hydrophilic wire just to get us down out of the right atrium into the IVC. Breathe away. There we go. Okay, so we've got the multi-purpose catheter down into the IVC with a little bit of difficulty. And I'm facing it towards where I think the left renal vein is likely to be. And you can see the wire's gone, that's a hydrophilic tumor wire's gone straight into the left renal vein. So I'm now going to pull it back, turn it inferiorly, and see if it'll just pass down the gonadal vein. And you can see it's hooked into something there. So I'm just going to advance my catheter into that left renal vein. Fact, the wire is going down the gonadal vein, so I'm going to hold back with my catheter at the moment and advance the hydrophilic wire down the gonadal vein. Every time it stops, I'm just redirecting it because it's probably gone into a small side branch and it's gone down very easily there. We're now going to advance the multipurpose catheter down with a slight rotation just to take it round the corner down the gonadal vein. Right, so I'm just advancing my wire a little bit further. And we go down to the level of the internal ring and take the wire out and centre lower, please. I'm now going to inject a little bit of contrast and just check the size of the vein and check exactly where we are. So far, we haven't put any contrast down here. And we're in a small branch of the gonadal vein, so we're just going to pull back until we get back into the main gonadal vein. And you can see it just there. I'm just going to redirect myself and we're going to put the wire back and just go back down into that branch. Okay, so we're just going to put the hydrophilic wire back down. These veins are fairly fragile, so you've got to be a little bit careful. It's not really a good idea to advance the catheter without the wire, although you can do. I try to avoid that. So we've got the wire back down now. We're just going to take the catheter a little bit further down. And we're just going to check our position again with contrast. Just take the wire out there, please. So just injecting a little bit of contrast there, and you can see we're in the main gonadal vein now. So this is a spirally coil here, which, which comes on a holder. So you need to slide the coil down on its holder and then take the end off, which is sometimes a little bit stiff. I'm then going to advance it into the catheter. Take that holder off, take that pusher out, 
and now I'm going to push it with the straight end of this double-ended guide wire and they're very radio opaque and you'll see it come down the catheter very readily. Now you can see it there. I'm just going to tap the coil, make it coil up and I'm coming back with my catheter as I'm coiling the coil and we'll have another one of those please. So I'm just going to check with a bit more contrast to look for any collateral vessels. So we've seen that one there but we've coiled below that so that's good. I'm going to put the veins gone into a lot of spasm here, you can see how small it is. So we're just going to place another 6mm coil up here, um, just for ex an extra measure. That's one coil is probably sufficient, but I often place two. Right, so I'll just take that, take that out of its holder again. Here you can see it's on there, we're just going to take the end off that again. Take my syringe off there. Feed it into the catheter, take the central holder out, take the pusher out and then advance with the straight end of the guide wire again. Although it's the straight end, this is actually a soft end on this guide wire, it's a double-ended guide wire. And you can see even in that small space, uh, this coil is actually coiling up quite nicely, uh, just by a little bit of forward pressure from the guide wire. And that's it coiled up there. Wire out please. And we're just going to check now with a bit of contrast, going to come back up the gonadal vein right to its origin. And you can see we've completely occluded that vein now, so we should get a good result. So we're just going to take this catheter out. We're going to take the sheath out, and that's us finished.